Hi, so it's Nancy here and I'm back to talk about the planners that I'm going to be using um, for next year. Well, when I say next year, I always work in academic years because, of course, I work in education. Um, and education here in the UK, um, we run from September to July is our academic year. So it's different to you guys in the States, but um, that is how we work. So that's how I tend to buy my planners. I've always used academic planners um, when I was at university and things like that. So it's just what's natural for me, really. So I have two planners that I'm going to be using this year and I'm going to just do a flick through and share with you my thoughts and feelings about them. So first up um, is this one, this is an 18 month planner and I believe this is called the Peony one. I'm really bad, I should have looked up the names. Um, this has the beautiful um, pink translucent discs in and these beautiful covers, of course, that's just the advertising strip that can come off. Beautiful um, covers here. So to say this is the Peony one, um, black and white dots on the inside, again on the back peonies and black and white so i love this i love it there was lots of gold foiling in here as well so this is what i'm going to use for my personal planner planning hopefully coming back into some better kind of uh, regiment for my um youtube posts um personal goals and stuff like that i've got going so this one is an 18 month one and starts in july so i'll be using this um now as you watch this video i'll have started using this it has a great front page put your name on um what i do like about these planners is um this currently i've used this previously um and helped to use them for my project life and scrapbook pages so it's got you currently it's got your birthdays it's got important dates these are um us based um that doesn't really annoy me um because it is what it is because it's a us company at the end of the day um and i can't see them producing a uk version but so you do have got your important dates so you can add stuff there um, and things I'm grateful for. And I need to get better at going back and filling this in. In my previous one that I've been using, I have filled in every so often. And I really, it's things like the reading and the watching and the listing I, I really enjoy going back to. So this is um, the tabs you have for a month. Um, all of the tabs are laminated. I know in the earlier versions they weren't laminated, but these are all laminated. And there is gold foiling. Something I would say about the Mambies, it's a good quality paper. It's a nice sturdy paper. So as with all of them, you have, this is a very similar format to my um, previous one that I had. Um, you've got the monthly layout, you've got all the peonies that run through, and then you've got the weekly breakdowns. The reason I love this one is because my old one had morning, afternoon, evening, um, and that's not necessarily how I use mine. I used it for like things I had to do, appointments that I had, um, and then any other notes. So this is going to work out much better for me because I'm not going to have to sort of be covering those bits up because I did try and cover them up on most of my pages. These pages are all the same. Really love it. Weekends a different colour. You get quotes at the bottom. And yeah, I really like it. And I love this black and white um, here in the middle. And then again, it, sh it follows a similar format. So you have the black and white for August. This, which is actually the same front cover that I'm currently using for my um, crochet one. So as you can see, it's the same. <laughs> um, so yes, that one. And again, these are kind of popular designs. They all have like the peonies on them. Um, we've got October, which is a quote. November. I'm only flicking through these quick because, you know, let's see. I just love the gold foiling accents in here and I can see this just making me happy as I look at it. Um, love this quote with the um, peonies behind it. And something I would say about this one, Hustle, love that one. This is a clean, simple planner. Um, you could get this and dress it up as much as you like or you could use it practically. Um, Again, I'm not having a diss at anyone, but I do feel some people put so many stickers and bits in, like, where do they write when, like, things come up? And I've had people who, like, have another journal that they put pencil their appointments in and then they put it in here. Oh, life's too short for that. I just don't have time for that. I need this to be practical and work for me, but pretty at the same time. So we've got some green polka dot 
Again, May is a, um, a lovely gold foiled Stop and Smell the Peonies. Um, whoops. June, I've got a quote. July, polka dots. We have August, get chic done. Love that. Um, September, ampersand. October, another quote. November, gold hearts. And then December, this black and white design. I don't know in all honesty if I'm going to use this past August um, next year. 2017, August 2017 is a long way away. I'm not worrying about that. I bought this because it's pretty, I like it. And if getting this out of my bag at work will put a smile on my face then. That's all that really matters. Some people have said that they do find it quite difficult to turn the pages. Um, I don't really, I'm not going to be flicking like months and months apart. And as I've done in my previous one, I may take some of the earlier months out. Um, so for example, August, when I'm done with August and July, I may take that out or I may not. I'm not sure. I don't know. This is just what I'm going to go with. So yeah, this is the Peony Planner, which is super cool. And I love it. And it's chunky um, and sturdy. And they are heavy. They've got a bit of weight to them. But um, to be fair, I cart so much stuff to work and back every day. A plan away is not going to make much difference. Um, I do have... Oh, excuse me, guys. I'm going to have to move over here. <laughs> um, I do have the the bag, the three six size Happy Planner bag. It's looking a bit worse wear because I take this to work and back every day. Um, I've got a little key ring and things on here but I use this every day I use it I've got pens pens and pills in this side some emergency wool for crochet um, so I've got pills makeup pens you know the vitals so um, one of my planners fits in that side then in this side I fit um, my other planner I've got some pens but I also fit my iPad in here as well so I take this to work as is, so I have my planners and my iPads together. Um, it's just how it works and it works for me. And it's a cute bag and I really like it. Um, I also have, oh I wasn't very organised here was I? <laughs> um, I also have the pouch as well um, and this has a band so you can fit it around the actual planner but I have some squash some washi tape <laughs> some dry white markers sweeteners tea bags a whole lot of junk in there to be honest <laughs> um, but I do I do love it I also have this charm which I got on here this little camera charm which is a halo magpie charm as well so yes I use that to cut stuff about as well okay so the new planner to me which i'm really really super excited about um is this one this is the 12 month teacher planner this is also the bigger planner so this is the eight and a half by 11 so here in the uk it's a4 size um so i'm super super excited this has the red um binders in um of course there is some parts of this which are um, very American, but this is totally customisable and I absolutely love it and I am so excited, which is really sad. I'm doing so much lesson planning and thinking about like, I've been doing stuff, planning stuff for like November at the moment, um, just trying to get myself organised. Um, and when this arrived, I was so excited. I haven't written in it yet, but I have told all my colleagues at work about it and they were like so jealous. So but yeah, so this was from Halo Magpie. This is a slightly different um, to the other planners. This has the a thick acetate um, cover to it. Um, again, this does pop off, um, but I really like that. Um, I do not have the punch yet. I really want to get the punch, but every time I want to get it, it's out of stock. So 
I'm hunting Hey Little Magpie down to get that. If you do go over to the Hey Little Magpie store, um, just and something is out of stock, just click the link to say you have. If you sign in, then say email me to let me know when it's in stock. Um, so, yes, that's exciting. So this is the just the branding bit, and as you can see, you can see how easy things pull in and out. So teaching is the one profession that creates all other professions. Um, this is all kind of very inspiration and quotey and I quite like it. Um, but of course I am not your typical teacher. Um, I'm a head teacher of an alternative um, provision, alternative school. So I work with kids that have been um, kicked out of mainstream or are not coping in mainstream for behaviour, mental health, whatever reasons. So I am not your typical teacher. Um, so I'm not going to probably use this in a typically teacher way, but I love it. So then you have this, which is um, a kind of coated, um, glossy um, cardboard. But I think you could easily um, do your own laminated cover for this. I've seen lots of people do them, especially since it's A4. It's going to be super, super simple. Um, so I don't know. I may or may not change that, but for now. I'm going to leave it in there. And that's the great thing about these planners. They're so customisable. You've just got a blue chevron um, on the inside. So you open up. This is just a plain bit of paper. That'll probably go. Um, so then this says, this, the ha this happy planner teacher edition belongs to. Room school address. Yeah, so that's kind of it. And you've got this nice little apple motif. You've got nice colour banding down all of the sides. Um... You've got this, which is the academic calendar, which is fab for me. That's why I will be marking that up with all my dates. This page is no use to me whatsoever. So this is like reference notes for the substitute. The kind of school I work in doesn't have a substitute and I wouldn't kind of leave this for someone to, else to see anyway. So this page will be whipped out or something will be stuck over it. Because this is a four size, I have so many printouts and charts and spreadsheets and all that kind of stuff I possibly could just stick that over here um, because on the there is the um, August bit which is month goals events holidays student birthdays which is interesting we have something I've tried to start doing is with our catering teachers um, is make cakes for the kids so that's possibly something um, I will fill in top five tasks that's gonna be fab um, so of course this is geared for the US market um, and most schools start back in August so here's to a brilliant year. For me August is the month I have no kids at work so it's the month where I try and cram all my planning in for the rest of the year or have best intentions to until I sit at my desk and start looking at Instagram and Facebook and yeah. Um, <laughs> sometimes the perils of being your own boss. Well I'm not my own boss but like being in charge of my own program I can be a little bit slack sometimes. So this, as I said, is a great size. Um, I love the fact that I'm going to easily be able to slip um, A4 documents and stuff in here. I do have the accessory pack that goes with this, which has some of the pockets. And I found those pockets so useful in my smaller 365 planner. So the August one starts as in my other one. You have the front page, your monthly planner. So this is going to be great for working out. Um, putting my appointments when I'm in and out of the building, when I've got meetings, that kind of stuff, at a glance. Um, I do also use my Outlook calendar at work because it's something you know, we have to share company-wide. Um, but this, I do like it's stuff written down because, heaven forbid, the computers go down and I miss an appointment. Then, this is when I was talking about it being customisable. This is your page. They are undated. That may annoy some people. I was a little bit irked. I don't know. I was a little bit like, mm, I don't know how I'm going to get on with this. But then, now I've looked through it more and I thought about how I'm going to use it, it's going to be absolutely fine. This is Monday to Friday. Um, I've always used my other planner for both work and home. Um, and <laughs> I don't know, the weekend stuff in with work has never kind of sat quite right with me. So I absolutely love this. It is then divided by subjects at the top here. I only actually teach one subject i teach um creative skills fashion and textiles so um i will only teach and i only teach on a tuesday as well because i have to fit all my other management stuff in there so the way that i'm probably going to get this to work will be um you know like i'll block a day out for my teaching um then i'll use these different um headings my other ones went down so i've had the planners where you plan downwards this is planning across 
so I'm gonna have to get used to that um I think I'm gonna like it because the way I see this working is this will be for to do's for meetings for events I've got going on places I need to go and this will be my everyday notes um I have another notebook at work where I note stuff down kids that I've had to discipline um stuff that's happened drama safeguarding issues all that kind of stuff um I normally write in a notebook and then I have to flick back and find it and if I have to go back and write notes and things this is going to be great because I'm just going to be writing my notes straight in here so this is going to be my note so everything that happened on Monday staff were off sick kids that were off sick that kind of stuff all going to be written here and this will be my appointments and what I'm doing of course Tuesday will be my teaching day so this will be around my lesson plans and what I've got going and then so so on and so forth it is rainbow coloured it is beautiful it is the perfect size um I am really gushing about this I know because I just see this helping me so much um and these are all the same there's no variance I love it again September um new way of it being you know worked out but all of the weeks are the same so of course it does mean um for example October we have half term week um so I could choose not to do it I probably am going to be working that low because I work throughout the year so I can kind of move them about as needs be um teachers change the world one child at a time or teachers give up on them and then I get them <laughs> sorry that was just a dig of people um I don't know I I have I don't necessarily like calling myself a teacher I prefer to call myself a trainer I like you know because I think teacher especially with the kids I work with has this really negative connotations but I just love these I just all oh, again all the tabs are laminated see this is what I like teach instruct mentor encourage influence praise guide inspire I love that that for me is what I do um so yes again love it this has lots of American holidays in that's cool doesn't matter stick a bit of washi tape over it all is good uh teacher's gonna teach this beautiful february um chevron love that and again all these are the same put your week numbers in um i know some schools work for work using like term weeks um where what i will do is i will do it just on weeks of the year i know some schools um operate a two week timetable so they'll have week one timetable and a week two timetable so that may help um teachers if that's the way your school works that could help you um just keep track of what week you're on to be honest without these i mean this could be used for anyone to be brutally honest this doesn't have to be a teacher in a mainstream school you could use this i don't know if you're a fitness instructor or you just done evening classes or you done classes online do you know what i mean you could there are so many uses for this banner because this is blank it's just open for you to interpret and use how you will um going on now so this is just the <laughs> attitude is everything yeah it is with the young people i work with um today's your day you've got this which to be fair you tend to need by june because by june you're losing the world to live um it always seems impossible until it's done perfect for july because besides july it's like oh, can't do this anymore <laughs> so yeah then it goes on to this section which is checklists there's no page here as well but i got more of these in the accessory pack this excites me no end and this is what my colleagues are um super jealous of really sorry there my phone went um this is the checklists page so in here in the accessory pack you get a lot more you've got names and you've got all your own columns up here i do love a spreadsheet as i've said but this is going to be perfect for tracking my marking the invigil you know you know iving of work i have to do the I don't know the re the permission forms I have to get. There's so much stuff. Um, I only really like how it goes across two pages as well. So I can just have everyone's names down, and these can still be different stuff. Um, yeah, this excites me, um, and it's so pretty. And these again, as I've said, can be pulled out and moved. 
so if you need to move it to your October section, you move it to your October section. So in my haul, I'm going to show you more of the accessory pack, but yes, this is the two planners I'm going to be using for next year. So thank you very much guys for watching, sorry it was a longer video, got a little bit excited, um, but um, I'll be back very very soon, bye!